going to start recording that whole thing. I've been sitting up here doing amazing things for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Them young girls, just gorgeous all the time for no reason, huh? We didn't appreciate it when we had it. But it's not too late. You can do the put in the work, do the doctoring up that you need to do now, and keep it popping, girl. Not to compete with young girls, but just to just to be shining your black woman magic on for the black men and other black women. We get criticized for critiquing each other. But if we're critiquing each other, we can't never find nothing good to say. We compliment the fuck out of each other, too. How do you think people getting so much smoke blowing up their ass? We're complimenting each other, too. Don't short yourself on the idea that you short yourself. Because sometimes y'all give yourself credit. And give yourself credit for giving yourself credit is what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is give yourself credit for giving yourself credit. You do sometimes. And give yourself credit for giving other people credit. Because what people sometimes assume is hating isn't, you're not hating. You just, you're being helpful. There's just no, no such thing as, as constructive criticism. But at the end of that constru constructive criticism, you saw promise. Or you wouldn't have said anything at all. To offer any kind of betterment to it. Co contribution of betterment. Where is the remote always when you can't find it? Where is it always? Like right in front of you. Like, what's the percentage of time that the remote is actually lost when you say you lost the remote? You don't lose it. You just don't remember where you consciously put it. Whether you consciously put it there or not, even if you just toss it somewhere. But you still know it's only one of, in one of certain number of places. So you didn't fuck up everything. Give yourself some credit. Let's start, let's give ourselves some more credit in the process of getting better because we do need to get better. I'm not here to say there's nothing wrong because I, of all people, can pick everything and everybody apart, self-included, right? But I'm just taking a moment in my indigo-ness to say let's give each other credit for giving each other credit. And let's give each other credit for giving ourselves credit. You know when you went through the fire to get to the other side on some specific uh, effort that you put forth? Shout out to you for that! Bitch, you're beautiful that, for that. Bruh, you're beautiful for that. You did that. You did the fuck out of it. And for those of you who are Christians, God ain't gonna get mad at you for saying so in this moment. This is our moment. This is our video to praise our damn self. Yes, we're in sesh mode, but all are welcome. Whether you sesh with us or not, we just uplifting ourselves during this Black History Month here today right now with me. That's the only credit I can take for it because you're going to be doing it for yourself and for all of us and for each other. But we, we're doing it right here on my damn fucking video channel's uh, page. Jazz and stuff because I'm probably going to post this on more than one of my social media sites pages because this is some positive shit. And even though all my shit is super positive, only a rare percentage of you can, can interpret it out of there as much as it really is and the rest of y'all think i just be doing too much because cognitive dissonance will make you see it that way but that's not all your fault you know what i mean even when i expect more of you it's just because i, I know how great you are and that's why it's hard for me to get benefit of the doubt of stuff for us sometimes but I, you know i get it and you're still fantastic and i love you and y'all know I don't just go around telling people I love you. But I love you. Wakanda. I love you. Every soul. I'm just loving on y'all. I wonder if I can put this on my on an Insta story. If I know enough to put this on my Insta story. And just love on my people. Without having to give Instagram access to my personal date on my phone. Because I don't like to do that. I know it's easy for y'all to do that because I know it's like those terms in, agree in agreement that everybody know they didn't read all the goddamn terms, of, uh, uh, terms and, uh, and conditions, which probably include I own you and your soul and all your four generations to come after you. <laughs> but you know, that's the only way you can participate in the latest technology. So you got to click. Yes, I've read the terms and conditions and I agree. Adele Gibbons addresses that in her stand up regularly, but really. She just kind of touches on it, but 
You know, let's let's sit on that for a minute. Your privacy is all you have. You don't have the money and things that you have at the end of the day. At the end of the day, they could change a law to make it so that whatever is yours is not yours if they want to. You could have a boat. And because they want people in flooding situations not to really get the help that they need to get, because they want control over you and they want to be able to manipulate you. And you know what? This is just a good video from love, from me to you. I'm not going to go conspiracy theory on you. I'm just going to love you right now in this moment. And I know I'm not there with you to support you at a moment you might need it right now. But maybe this video is going to uplift you. Maybe you already uplifted and this just helps, this just boosts it up further. But maybe you're going through something and this video make you take a step back and go, I'm entitled to that pain. And I'm going to allow myself to feel it. But not in this moment. Not while I'm watching this positive fucking video about how wonderful I am. I being you, being us, being goddess, being God. And the gods in us are just here in this moment loving on each other. I'm glad I just got this text because I had gone way too far and I have some things that I need to be doing. It seems like an execution. Six officers open fire on a man asleep in car. White people, you will never know this pain. And it's, it's a pain that even when you're not related to the person, there's a full knowledge that you could be any day now. If you haven't been already, if you're not right now, there's every chance in the world that you could be that you're more likely to be put in that predicament, either personally or with someone you love, as a black person. I wanted to say a person of color, but let's, let's keep it real, a black person. Because there are other people of color who can pass if they want to. You know, you can dye your hair, you can get you some contacts. But if you're black, there is no out of that. Even the, even the, even the people who self-hate, and bleach their skin. You can bleach your skin. You know what you're going to look like? An albino black person. <laughs> you still going to be. You're going to be black. But once you get past how horrible supremacy is. It's wonderful that you're going to be black. I'm going to go back positive again. Sorry about that. Got lost for a minute. <laughs> this, that, that story took me there. But you're wonderful. You're wonderful. Fuck what supremacy has to imply. Say brainwash even into everyone if, if everyone in the world agrees right now that you ain't shit i'm telling you right now bitch they lied they lied and a half and three quarters and seven eighths and 15 sixteenths you are everything and you have full control over how wonderful that can and will continue to be okay okay love y'all